A verdict this evening in a case making national headlines, an explosive trial in a Detroit suburb. A homeowner seen on home surveillance firing a shotgun at a black teenager who prosecutors said had missed the bus and was simply going to ask for directions. Tonight, the homeowner's defense and what the jury has now decided. Here's ABC's Alex Perez. A home security camera in suburban Detroit capturing the harrowing moment. 14-year-old Brennan Walker knocked on a stranger's door for help. A woman answers and seconds later, her husband emerges with a shotgun in hand and opens fire. Walker running for his life. She thought I was trying to break into her house. I was trying to explain to her that um, I wanted to get directions to go to my school. Prosecutors say homeowner Jeffrey Ziegler intended to kill Walker. We, the jury, find Mr. Ziegler guilty. A Michigan jury today convicting him of assault. The teen had missed the bus that day and was lost. I saw a black person standing at my door, and I screamed at him, and I asked him what he was doing there. He tells me that he is going to school. Ziegler's wife says he was opening the screen door. Her husband says he never meant to aim at Walker. I wanted it to fire more up in the air, more towards my shoulder, and I didn't get that chance to, like I said, because it was slippery and, and I didn't have a good grip on the gun. Prosecutors argue Ziegler acted deliberately. If he didn't intend to hunt him, he would have stayed in his house. He would have waited for the deputies. And Alex Perez with us live tonight. And Alex, that homeowner is now facing the possibility of prison time. That's right, David. He is set to be sentenced next month and could face up to 12 years behind bars. As for that teenager, he was not injured in the shooting. David? Alex Perez with us tonight. Alex, thank you.